So you're ready to start your own podcast, but have no idea where to start when it comes to creating your own intro and outro? Don't worry, I've got you. Keep on watching, because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own intro and outro for your podcast totally for free. And bonus, it's super easy to do as well. Keep on watching. Hey, I'm Katie Steckley, and here on my YouTube channel, I love to share my best tips and advice all about social media strategy and content creation. In addition to being a YouTuber, I also run a small creative agency that serves content creators who have a vision and a message to share, but not the tech know how to execute on it. I edit podcasts, I edit YouTube videos, and develop branding strategy for all of that stuff and Instagram. If you want to learn more about my services, you can go to katiesteckley.com. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post two new videos here every week and I wouldn't want you to miss them. So let's dive into my step-by-step -step process to creating the intro and outro for your new podcast. The first thing you need to do is decide what you want to say. This is probably the most important step because when you make your intro, you are defining for a new listener what your podcast is about and what your brand voice is. You need to connect with them very quickly so that they don't dive out of the podcast app and stop listening once they've decided they're not interested. You want it to be quick and snappy, but also informative and really communicate who you are as a host. My recommendation is to listen to some of your favorite podcasts to get a sense of what a typical podcast intro sounds like and what a good podcast intro sounds like. If you can think of a show that you started listening to for the first time and immediately were like, yes, this is my jam, that is a really good podcast to use as an example to figure out what works when it comes to connecting with an audience quickly. Here are a couple examples from shows that I've worked on. This is the introduction to one of my client Jen's podcast called Believe in Her. Hi, I'm Jen Ziegler, and this is the Believe in Her podcast, the show where we hear the stories of the incredible women making waves in our world. From entrepreneurs to community leaders and beyond, we'll learn what it really means to believe in her. This gives you a really good sense of what the podcast is gonna be about, and you really get to feel Jen's bubbly personality as a podcast host. That's what you really wanna communicate when you're creating this intro. So take some time to think about what you actually want to say and write it all out. Do the same for the outro. It's important that you include all the necessary call to actions to keep people engaged with your community. Make sure that you shout out your Instagram or your website or wherever else you wanna send your listeners. Once you've decided what you wanna include in your intro and outro, write it down and practice saying it a few times so that when it comes time to record it, it doesn't so much sound like you're reading it off of a script, but that you have it at least somewhat close to memorize. So it sounds really natural when people are listening to it later. Now it's time to record it. So for this step, obviously you're going to need a microphone. If you haven't decided what microphone you want to use yet to record your podcast, I have a whole video of microphone options for beginner podcasters. You can check it out up here. At the end of the day though, it doesn't really matter what microphone you're using as long as you are in a quiet space, hopefully with some soft textures that can muffle echoes and that you aren't going to be interrupted while you're recording. So take some time, sit down and record as many options as you need to feel good about your intro and outro and what they sound like. You can click record and just record continuously and try a bunch of different options. Don't worry, I'll show you how you can edit it out so that you only use your favorite take. Now that you've got your audio clips ready, whether you recorded them right into your computer with a USB mic or on your phone or on a microphone with an SD card, import those files somewhere on your computer that you'll be able to find them later. Before we jump into our editing program, we're gonna go and find some music that suits our podcast. This process can take a while because you wanna find something that really matches your brand voice and communicates the personality of your podcast and the kind of vibe of the show. If you're willing to invest some money into this, which I would definitely recommend doing, then you can get a subscription to a platform like Artlist, which allows you a license to use the music that you download from Artlist anywhere, whether it's in client projects, on podcasts, on YouTube videos, it's really great because it has super open licensing rules. You can go there and search through different themes, instruments, moods, until you find something that you feel like suits your show. If you don't wanna spend any money, you can find royalty-free music just on YouTube itself, actually. If you didn't know, YouTube has its own royalty-free music library that you can search through and find something, again, by instrument, mood, theme, different kinds of stuff like that. But just know that you really do get what you pay for when it comes to music licensing. On Artlist, you're getting music by really talented artists that are putting a lot of creativity and thought into it. Like it's genuinely good music to listen to. And YouTube has some good stuff, but it's definitely more like looking for a needle in the haystack. And the majority of music on there, you'll probably recognize from hearing it in somebody's YouTube video. So it tends to not be as professional sounding, but if you are doing it on a budget, then this might be a good option for you. I'm gonna have both of those two options, Artlist and the YouTube free audio library linked in the description below so you can go check those out and search for your track. 
Okay, we are now ready to edit. We have the music that we want to use and we have our intro and outro recordings. Let's dive in and edit it. Today, I'm going to show you how to edit these in Audacity because this is a totally free open source program. I've linked it in the description so that you can go and download it. It's available for Windows and Mac. So I thought this would be the best way to show you guys how to edit intros and outros so they don't have anybody commenting like, but how do I do it on Windows? So I'm just going to show you this is a universal option. You can all use this. <laughs> Once you've got Audacity downloaded and installed into your computer, it's time to open that up and start importing your files. First, what you want to do is go to file import and then select the file that you recorded your intro on. If you tried multiple times to get it right, that's totally fine. What you'll notice is if you left a space in between, there's probably a section of talking, then silence section of talking. Once you found your best take, you're going to want to look for the selection tool. This one looks like a cursor from a word processing application. It's just a little line. You're going to select that and then select the sections that you don't want to keep. So you can select multiple takes at a time. Just remember what section of that audio file that you want to keep, select the stuff before and after, and then just hit the delete key and that will get rid of the takes that you don't want. Now that you've got your perfect intro take, you're going to want to import your music, go back to file import and select the music that you downloaded online and bring it into audacity. If there's silence at the beginning of the track, use the same method that you did for the intro editing and just delete that silence so that it jumps into the music right away. Now we're going to find where in the music you want to place your speaking part. There's a natural point for it to fade out and for your talking to start then put it there. But in general, I would say you probably want like five to seven seconds at the beginning of music, not too much longer than that, or people are going to start to wonder if there's even talking at all in this podcast. So find a natural fit and then click on the arrow tools in the top toolbar of audacity and click and drag on your speaking track and put it where you want it in the timeline in relation to your music track. Don't worry about the volume right now when you're listening to the playback. That doesn't matter. We're going to fix the volume in a second. Now that you've got your music and your talking tracks placed where you want relative to each other, we're going to adjust the volume so that everything is smooth and even, and you can hear the talking when you need to and hear the music when you need to. Grab the tool that looks like two arrows pointing down and pinching a curved line. This is for audio ducking. First, we're going to start by clicking on the first spot where we want the audio to start fading out at every point where we have a change in volume. We're going to have two points, one where the fade out starts and one where the fade out ends in between is where it's going to change. So you're going to select your first point where the fade out starts and probably really close by. You're going to make your second point. Here is where you're going to click and drag that selection point either in or out to change the volume. If the audio waveform is smaller, that means it's quieter. And if the waveform is larger, that means it's louder. So you're going to do this on either side of your speaking section of the track so that it kind of looks like you're taking the whole audio waveform and pinching it in, in the center to make it quieter while you're talking and then letting it spread out again when you're not talking so that it's louder. Once you have something that looks kind of like this shape around where your speaking section is, now we're going to work on making the audio fade out at the end. Find a natural place for it to fade out or generally five to seven seconds after you're finished talking, you're going to make another two selection points. Only this time you're going to make them much further apart because you want this change in volume to be more gradual. The idea is that the last two points are going to be really close together because you're going to have this fading out to pretty much silence. Once you have a shape that looks something like this, then you're going to go back to that original selector tool, grab the rest of the audio that you don't need and delete it. The idea with this is that once you save this file and you have the music that fades out, you're able to layer this with your actual podcast episode so that your intro music doesn't just stop really abruptly, but rather fades out in the background as your episode starts. Finally, to export this and save it as an MP3 file, you're just going to go to file export, leave the settings pretty much standard, leave it as MP3 and then give it a name and save it somewhere where you'll be able to find it next time you want to edit your first podcast episode. So I showed you how to do this with the intro, but it's the exact same process with editing the outro, except for maybe you want to have the music slowly fade in at the beginning. You can really use your imagination and totally get creative with it. Whatever you want to do to make your intro and outro sound uniquely yours and give a sense of what your podcast is going to be about to a new viewer. And that's it. Now you've got your podcast intro and outro. If you found this video helpful, then you would probably also find it really helpful to check out my podcast launch checklist. You can get it totally for free. You can download it up here or at the link in the description. 
It includes everything that you're going to want to remember when you're launching your first podcast. Also make sure to check out the videos that I've made before, such as this one about the best microphone for starting a podcast. I'm sure you'll find it helpful if you're not really sure where to start in terms of gear. But before you go watch that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Like I said, I upload twice a week and I wouldn't want you to miss it. As always, I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.